Hello, everyone! Today we're gonna tell you the most incredible facts about pregnancy and childbirth and animals. Let's get straight to the point. Can you guess what these babies will become? We know it's almost impossible, but these tiny animals weighing less than an ounce will grow into adult opossums. Can you believe that? By the way, did you know that opossums are marsupials? Although there are exceptions, some species carry their newborn cubs on their backs, but mostly the cubs spend the first few months of their lives in their mother's pouch. But the most surprising thing is that opossums are very quick at everything. Pregnancy lasts at most 15 to 25 days, and within a couple of months after birth, the young animals are covered with fur and have already put on a lot of weight. Meanwhile, armadillo pups don't need to grow fur. These animals are born with a soft white skin, which darkens and hardens in a few weeks. It is then that these babies acquire their armor. But that's not the weirdest thing. Turns out these animals always give birth to offspring exclusively of the same sex. That is, several identical twins are born at the same time, which is incredibly rare in other mammals. The female armadillos also have a real superpower. In the event of severe stress or unfavorable environmental conditions, they can delay childbirth birth for up to two years at will. Imagine you're expecting a child and then your wife says, I'm not ready, I think I'm gonna take a break. By the way, the female armadillo is not the only animal with this superpower. The Baikal seal, for example, can do the same. This is how the magic works. The embryo goes into anabiosis and stops developing. At that point, it neither dies nor suffers, but simply waits for its time. Sometimes it only comes in the next mating season, and then the seal gives birth to two pups at a time. Naturally, all these tricks are primarily necessary to keep the young safe. But the Suriname toad has taken its skills to a whole new level. Instead of leaving its eggs in the water, where predators can find and devour them, it has learned to lay eggs on the skin of its back and terrify people with trypophobia. After this, the toad simply sheds its damaged skin and its life goes on. How different the world would be if humans had to carry their babies like this on their backs. Ugh. However, these are not the greatest sacrifices animals make in the name of procreation. Female octopuses, for example, may stop eating for a year, all to protect their young, because if they leave their eggs unattended during the hunt, they could get the eggs eaten by predators. The mother octopus can survive this long without eating thanks to the nutrients accumulated in the liver. But sometimes the female dies right next to the eggs right after hatching. Yes, yes, tell us how much you cried watching Bambi. Sicilians also know something about self-sacrifice. Their closest relatives are salamanders, newts, and frogs. So perhaps they learned this from the Suriname toad. These creatures allow their young to do the unthinkable, to eat their mother's skin before they are born. Well, it's actually quite a treat. This tissue is full of fat and nutrients. Plus, every two days, the skin of the mother Sicilian is renewed. So basically, it's free, never-ending fast food. In the insect world, nature has also thought of everything, although this level of dedication would be more appropriate for the script of a horror movie. And it already has. Legend has it that a relative of the cuckoo wasp inspired the screenwriter of Alien when he came up with the concept of the parasitic monster. Cuckoo wasps use the bodies of other animals to incubate their young. As soon as the female insect is ready to lay eggs, it immediately goes in search of an unfortunate cockroach that will become the incubator of its offspring. The wasp finds the poor creature, paralyzes it with venom, and places a larva in its belly. The larva hatches and begins to eat the cockroach, which is still alive but can't resist. It's great to be a parent. What's more, the cockroach starts doing everything it's told to, including traveling the routes the parasite chooses. Do these guys know that Sir Surrogacy is not supposed to look like this. The female Saculina barnacle knows a lot about surrogacy. It can penetrate crabs' bodies, render them infertile, and plant its own eggs. The rest is very simple because the host animal will care for the offspring as if they were its own. But sea turtles do not need to look for surrogate mothers. In fact, they may themselves give their offspring up for adoption to unhappy childless couples, as these animals have many hatchlings. A 
A single clutch can contain up to 200 eggs, and one turtle lays four to seven clutches. Imagine coming home from work with 800 babies ready to tell you what they've been up to all day. The amazing thing is that all eggs hatch at the same time. The result is such a fascinating spectacle that you could use some popcorn. It's also curious how this gang decides it's time to get out of the sand. One of them seems to simply shout, all hands on deck. Turns out that baby turtles make sounds while still inside eggs. This is how they communicate with each other and decide together that there are no predators around and it's time to go out into the world. As you can see, the animal world works according to clear and well-defined natural laws. But sometimes, miracles also happen, like immaculate conception. Seriously, in the last decade, scientists have discovered that some hammerhead sharks can reproduce asexually. That is, the female egg is fertilized without male cells, and the embryo is like a clone of the mother. We don't mind feminism, but this is too radical, don't you think? But not only female sharks can be strong and independent, here's another story. A female Komodo dragon named Charlie gave birth to three babies in a Tennessee zoo, and the males also had no part in their conception. All thanks to parthenogenesis, a form of reproduction in which the female gives birth to genetic copies of herself. However, we have long suspected that reptiles can do something like this. The anaconda is also known to conceive without male contribution. A few years ago, in Boston, a 10-foot snake gave birth to 15 snakelets single-handedly. However, only three of them survived. And as you have already guessed, the genetic material of the offspring matched the mother's 100%. Really, what do you need males for when you can just press Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V? Snakes are actually amazing creatures. Here, look at this. At first, you might think that this baby snake is trying to get out of a plastic bag, but it's actually the embryonic sac of a female rainbow boa. Not everyone knows that some snakes are viviparous and care for their young just like mammals. Female kawakas, on the other hand, always have a plan B in case of emergency. If one embryo dies, it triggers the growth of a second one. Yes, there's always a second baby. It's literally a backup that sits in her womb along with the main one from the beginning and snoozes, biding its time. Imagine what it must feel like to be a stand-in, even before you're born. By the way, if the first pup is born without incident, the second one still develops, but it's born later. Let's hope the parents don't tell their babies about this, as the kawakas probably don't know anything about psychotherapy. And right out. Yeah, come and check it out. Oh my goodness. It's right out. It's trying to eat things on the ground. Look at you. Delaying birth, immaculate conception, backup embryos? How else can nature surprise us? Well, get this. Female swamp wallabies can become pregnant again even if they are already pregnant. Thus, they have several fetuses at different stages of development growing inside their bodies. In other words, these marsupials can give birth non-stop throughout their lives, and each joey needs a different meal. Female wallabies can produce milk of different composition for babies of different ages, as the lactation period exceeds the gestation period. It's like humans. The youngest doesn't eat eggs for breakfast. The middle one hates oatmeal. Somebody give this poor mother a break. What is this video doing here? What does a mushroom have to do with our topic? Oh no, it's all right, it's a zebra shark pup, and it came out of an egg capsule that this fish deposits at the bottom of the ocean. But it's not the strangest egg capsule you can find on the coast. Just look at these things, commonly known as mermaid's purse. Unfortunately, you won't find any pearls or money inside these collagen pouches. Only ray or chimera eggs, and the holes in the pouches are necessary for oxygen intake and subsequent hatching. Of course, you can't grow a whole army of fish in those purses. In this respect, the rays and chimeras should learn from the aphids. It is said that up to 10 generations of this insect can easily change in one summer. Imagine going on vacation as a parent and coming back as a great-great-great-great-grandparent. The secret of this reproductive success will shock you. It turns out that aphids are born already pregnant. The female aphids hatch from their eggs with eggs inside them, and the reproduction of the insects goes non-stop, like on a conveyor belt. And don't ask any aphids aphid which of its parents it resembles, they use parthenogenesis as well, in which there is no place for the male. That is, the daughters are born already pregnant as clones of their mothers and so on ad infinitum. 
While some males do not participate in the fertilization process at all, others do all the work. Male lumpfish, for example, build their nests to attract the attention of the female. The female in her turn chooses her favorite, spends a romantic night there, and disappears. As a result, the single father is left alone with the nest, protecting it from predators and caring for the offspring. But as soon as the hatchlings are born, the father lumpfish leaves and never comes back. It starts building a new nest and looking for a new mate. The hatchlings have no choice but to survive on their own, and sometimes they look to the horizon in the hope of seeing their parents. Although, maybe this fish has simply seen a female kiwi laying an egg. It's amazing. The egg takes up about 20% of the mother's body. By comparison, in humans, a baby at full term is 5% of its mother's body weight. That means that if kiwis were our size, the average baby would weigh 35 pounds. Imagine how difficult it would be to be pregnant. Okay, it's time to talk about something else besides kiwis giving birth. Oh, that looks nice. If the ocean suddenly starts looking like a starry sky, it's because a black-eyed squid has spawned. A female squid can lay up to a thousand eggs at a time, which sparkle like a Christmas tree in the depths of the sea. But despite this decoration, it doesn't feel very cozy in the depths, so it's not surprising that some animals prefer to stick together. Although land animals do the same thing. Mongooses are so attached to the members of their colonies that they even give birth all at the same time. What do you know about team building? Sometimes it's even difficult to determine which brood belongs to whom because all the females in the group give birth to their young on the same day. Well, at least they don't throw their young out of their mouths, unlike yellowhead jawfish, which feels absolutely natural about it. To protect its young, it puts the eggs in its mouth and waits for them to hatch, then spits them out and lets them swim free. But the tilapia went even further. It not only incubates eggs in its mouth, but keeps its young there until it decides that the coast is clear and the area is safe enough. But if a predator appears, it will quickly return its young back. It's definitely one of those moms who never let you go play outside. While some parents are too protective, others are just hoping for good luck, like the sunfish, which can lay more than 300 million eggs at a time, an absolute record in nature. Of course, if every one of them survived, this species would have dominated the world long ago. So the sunfish merely increases the chance of survival of the offspring without being particularly concerned about their safety. And producing 300 million eggs is no problem either, since the size of each egg is no more than 0.2 inches. Who would be bothered by such small eggs? Meanwhile, the adult sunfish are, without exaggeration, gigantic. They can reach 10 feet in length, and their weight exceeds one ton. Did you also have a classmate at school who grew like crazy over the summer? But that's nothing. Sea urchins give birth to real spaceships. These are actually tiny sea urchins, even if they look like Elon Musk's latest projects. Baby kangaroos are also born very small, but not only in terms of size. When they are born, they are still premature, underdeveloped, and blind. They grow in their mother's pouch until there's no space left. Come say hi. Come say hi. Can we say hi to you? How you doing? How you doing? Say hi to everybody. And while kangaroos give birth to tiny babies, rays do this. Okay, that's probably enough internet for today. Leave a like if you feel like you learned something new about nature. See you soon.